today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the first palette of the month for May. And I didn't do that many videos in April, I did kind of two. I did one part and then I did in... I used a Arcana palette in my live stream with Jessica. But now it's May, I want to take something else and this month I am taking something that maybe is a little bit... I don't know. But the palette I have used is Moon Dust from Urban Decay. I haven't like used this at all. It looks like this if you didn't know. So it's eight shimmers. I have had this for quite some times. I haven't used it that much. So my idea for May is that I'm going to use this and something else. Like whatever I want because I can't do... Maybe I could try to do one look with only this palette, but I don't think I can like do three or four looks with only this. So today I am using this one and I'm also using some shing single shades that I have picked out. So I'm mainly going to focus on these three I think. So it's two from Lethal and one from Makeup Geek. E yes. <laughs> So I think I will do that. I also may be thinking about these two that is also from Makeup Geek, but I don't know. But the shades I'm going to use that I know of is Tuscan Sun from Makeup Geek, Cascade from Lethal Cosmetics, and also Frantic from Lethal. So I'm just going to start and I think... I think I want to do something pretty simple, but I think I know what I want to do. So I will scooch a little bit closer and then we just get started. So I think I want to do this pretty easy for me. So I want to start with Tuscan Sun and have that in my crease. And you know me, I'm all about the simple looks. So I'm taking this Tuscan Sun. And I have, I think around maybe 20 Makeup Geek shadows and the palette from Makeup Geek. But I like never use them because, I don't know, like single shadows is not my thing. I really like them though. I only have the old formula with the round pants. I like them, but it's not like I don't know what to do with single shadows. So I hope now in May I will also take like a palette together with the Moon Dust palette. But I think I will m try to take singles as much as I can. So okay, I will go in with the lighter one from Lethal. Skate, I think, and deepen down my crease a little bit. And like Lethal, I don't think of them as single shadows because I bought them all um, in pa palettes. Or like, I have always put together my own palette from Lethal. So I like think of them as palettes, not as singles, but are singles okay and it's now I don't know if I want to con to continue with the cascade all over my lid or if I want to take frantic the darker one like out here I think I might want to do that I'm going in with the dark one and then the lighter one from lethal so just put the dark a little bit out here and then take the lighter one just to have like a little dimension to my lid. This is maybe a little bit more brownish. I don't know what kind of color this is. And now I'm taking too much. I can like never just keep it out in the outer corner. 
neighbor. And then I take Cascade again. Put it on the rest of my lid. And if you haven't tried Lethal, do it. I really love their shadows and I love that they are an indie brand from Europe. Because like all other indie brands that I really really love, they are in US and also like Kaleidos in China and it takes like forever to ship it and it costs so much but with Lethal and like Nabla I really really love it okay I this is definitely my kind of shades but now I want to go in with this one the element and I think I actually want to take some glitter glue and just like stamp it all over my lid and then take the shade from the moon dust palette I think that may that may look cool so I take a little bit of glitter primer I always say glitter glue but this is a glitter primer from NYX and then just Stamp it all over my eye and I maybe want to concentrate like in the middle of my eye. At least now I'm doing it and like up in my crease. And then I take a brush with this. And did I just do like a faux halo? Is that even a thing? I don't know. I don't know what I feel about this. I think I want to go in with both of the shades from Lethal actually and just blend it a little bit better in here. And also, out here. Okay. Maybe I actually like this. I wasn't like super thrilled in the beginning, but I think I actually really like this. Going to try to do the same on the other eye. Okay, and this shade from um, the Moon Dust palette, it looks like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's both pink and orange, I think. I don't think you can see shit. Okay, I actually think I really, really, really like this. I think it looks cool. Okay, I'm going to take away the fallouts, fix my base, and then I come back and we do something to the under eyes, and I will take away the fallouts and fix my base, and then I come back. Okay, face us on, and do I look a little bit <laughs> off? Probably, possibly, yeah. So, okay, I will take the Tuscan Sun on my lower lash, and then I think this one that I think is Cascade, the lighter one, just to um, get a better blend or something. So I will start with Tuscan Sun, just to... Um, I don't want to be too harsh, of course not. Okay, and then I think I just take the same brush. I do like this super speed cleaning <laughs> and take the I think it's cascade and take it closest to my lashes 
and especially like out here in the outer corner okay and I actually think that I want to try to make myself blind okay, maybe that was a little bit dramatic but I want to test something that is might be stupid to do I will try to get the shimmer like straight down so take it here as well really close to my eyes I don't know what kind of brush I want to use maybe these two so I take some glitter primer just the inside a bit and put it down here And maybe just take it a little bit down look here. And then I take elements. Okay, and this I am a little bit afraid of. I will put on mascara, mascara, something in my wash line, and a lippy, and then I come back with the first look with the Moon Dust palette. Okay, so this is the finished look, and you know what I say, if you don't know what to take on your lips, go with the red. I have Unicorn Blood from Jeffree Star, love it, and on my wash line I have Get Paid from Colourpop. So, this is my first palette of the, ma 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 palette of the month in May with the Moon Dust palette from Urban K. And it's going to be so fun to use this more because... As I said, I haven't used it a lot at all. I know that Paulina loves it. I I don't really know. So <laughs> I've only used this one element today. I'm thinking about doing like a really super cut crease in one of these videos. Uh, I'm just a little bit afraid that it's going to be like repeating myself. Because I feel like I don't know what to do with this. But... A super crazy cut crease it will definitely be and also then the shades are used from makeup geek and from lethal so easy to work with I really like this look I don't know where the point thing down here I like it I just love these kinds of colors and I don't know I'm so bad at like close-up things I don't think you can see this. I don't know how to show you things, but the element shade looks really good. So yeah, that was all for this video. I really hope you liked it and I hope that you are looking forward to my moon, moon dust. What's up with me? My moon dust palette. So yeah. I if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!